Okay, folks, now another real great thing that you can do in Microsoft Excel is that you can sort the tabs in your worksheet. Now, sometimes you might have many tabs and you wish to reorder them. You can manually sort these tabs. So you could, for example, move sheet one to the other side next to sheet three. Now, where this comes in handy is sometimes inevitably you're going to rename your Microsoft Excel sheet tabs. And when you do, you sometimes might want a consistent order. For example, alphabetically. Now, to show you this, I'm going to rename sheet two as summary sheet and then shift it to the beginning. In other words, before sheet one in our tabs. So let's just get a hypothetical situation of where I would want to create a sheet for future news and I'm going to call it summary data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on sheet two. Now, folks, one important rule is when you do move a tab in Microsoft Excel, you've got to make sure that you've activated that particular tab in the workbook. So I click on sheet two and then right click and go to rename. Now I just type in summary sheet. OK, so I've got sheet one, summary sheet and sheet three. Now, typically, if you're going to make a workbook which has a summary sheet, you probably want it to be to the left. In other words, your starting tab in your workbook. So let's move the sheet to before sheet one. So to do that, you simply move your mouse over the label of the tab. Press and hold your mouse button, the left one. Now you can see that we get an upside down pyramid or triangle symbol to the top left of our tab. Now this basically indicates to us where our positioning of the tab is in relation to the other sheets. So to move it to before sheet one, while still holding the left hand mouse button, you simply move your mouse cursor to the left. Now you can see this upside down pyramid symbol has shifted to before sheet one. And that tells us that it's going to drop the sheet if we let our left hand mouse button go to before sheet one. So I'm going to release the left hand mouse button there. And you can see that summary sheet has shifted to before sheet one. So we've moved the sheet to the left hand side of our other worksheet tabs. Now, how do we move a sheet to the right hand side? OK, so let's say I renamed sheet three as data. So I've got my summary sheet. So let's say I want a tab for future news and I'm going to call it data. OK, so I typically want the data tab to be next to the summary sheet tab. So what I'm going to do is move sheet one to the right hand side. OK, now again, the first thing you need to do, folks, is to activate the tab that you want to move. Now, just to point out another thing before I get started on this bit, folks, you can technically move this tab back so that sheet one would then go ahead. However, since we've already done a similar example with summary sheet, I'm going to show you the other way, which is to move sheet one forward, which will then push the data tab to the middle, but it will be right next to summary sheet. OK, so you activate the tab that you wish to move, press and hold the left mouse button, and you'll, again, you get your pyramid symbol. Now, if I move it forward, folks, you can see that the pyramid icon has gone just before the data sheet tab. Now, if I let the mouse button go, this won't move our sheet. What we need in order for our sheet to go to next to data on the other side is to get this pyramid icon to the right hand side of the data sheet tab. So if I continue to move, that's the point at which we can let our left hand mouse button go. And then sheet one will be in front of the data sheet. So I'm going to release the mouse button there. And you can see that the data tab has been shifted because we move sheet one to the right hand side of data. OK, so that's how you sort your tabs in Microsoft Excel. Now, folks, I'm just going to quickly show you what I mentioned before about the triangle icon where it was to the left hand side of the data tab. But if we let the mouse button go, the sheet still wouldn't move. And that's just for thoroughness to make you aware that you do need to take that triangle icon to the right hand side of your sheet tab and not to the left hand side if you're moving one sheet to the right hand side of all your other sheets. So let's say I want to move data back to where I put it. I activate the tab, press and hold the left mouse button down. Now you can see we've got our pyramid symbol. Now I'm just going to move it a tiny bit and you can see that the pyramid symbol is sitting between data and sheet one. Now, as previously mentioned, if I let the left hand mouse button go, nothing will happen. 
So that was just to show you that you need to make sure when you're moving sheets to the right hand side that your pyramid icon goes to the right hand side of the sheet that you want your tab to be moved in front of. So in other words, it has to go in this instance to the right hand side of sheet one. Like that. OK, so I'm just going to move data back. OK, so that concludes this lecture. We have seen how we can use our left hand mouse button to move worksheet tabs to different positions within your workbook. Now, if there are any questions or queries, please feel free to reach out and I will see you in the next lecture.